you're just a baby, he says, with massive understatement, before adding, what do you say we go somewhere more quiet? You don't have to be scared. I would never do anything to harm you. Upstairs in his bedroom, Elvis takes her hand and kisses Priscilla full on the lips, the start of an unsettling romance with the underage girl who would become his wife. This is just one disturbing scene from the controversial new movie Priscilla, by Oscar-winning director Sofia Coppola, which opens in Britain today and could forever change the way fans view the singing legend. Elvis, portrayed in the film by Euphoria and Saltburn star Jacob Elordi, 26, is painted as little better than a paedophile, grooming a barely pubescent Priscilla, played by a child like Kylie Spayani, 25, for a future at his beck and call in a gilded cage. Elvis's daughter Lisa Marie Presley, weeks before she unexpectedly died in January last year aged 54, branded the script, shockingly vengeful and contemptuous, and pleaded with Coppola to rewrite the story. My father only comes across as a predator and manipulative, Lisa Marie wrote in an email revealed by Hollywood Trade Bible Variety. She praised Baz Luhrmann's hagiographic 2022 movie Elvis, which earned eight Oscar nominations, as a ray of light, but failed to comprehend Coppola's need to attempt to take my father down on the heels of such an incredible film. Remarkably, the movie is produced and endorsed by Priscilla Presley. She called the movie, right on, and said that Coppola, does a great job. Equally astonishing, insiders reveal the man-child romance was, toned down, on screen after Lisa Marie's complaints just weeks before filming began. Yet it's easy to imagine Elvis being aggressively cancelled if he made such romantic overtures to a child today. Elvis and Priscilla made light of their 10-year age gap, after meeting in West Germany where Presley was completing his national service with the U.S. Army in 1959. 